Hi all, in this video let us discuss about OpenHRMS Recruitment Module. OpenHRMS is an open source HR management software which helps to create happier workspace for employees. Moreover, it is suitable for both the large scale and small scale enterprises. And the OpenHRMS Recruitment Module which is an efficient applicant tracking system and a dynamic recruiting software. So let's go through the features of recruitment module and let's try to open the recruitment module and this is the default view of recruitment module which shows a Kanban card like view which shows the created job positions. From here using the create button we can create a new job position. For example I am just creating a job position for HR training. So I just create a new job position and the job position is created on here and using this three dot menu I can click on this edit and then here I can add the job position name and then the corresponding description for the job position and then in the recruitment tab I can add the department under which department is this job position is belong and then the job location the company I can choose it here the company or the partner I can choose it here and the expected number of new employees. And also I can choose who is the recruiter. So the corresponding job position is created like this and then also if I need to add some more attachments regarding the job position for example some job positions that I can be added here. And then here on this smart button we can see the job applications documents and then trackers and here on this job applications I can create the job applications that come under this job position. It can be created using this create button and the job position can be viewed like job positions can be viewed like in Kanban, tree, graph and then calendar and pivot. From here I can create a new job application. So I just create an application name and then applicant name. And then I can add his uh, email, email cc, phone number, mobile, degree details. And also if I need to add some tag, for example, this is for the HR trainee. So I just created a new tag and the new tag is created at here. And I can choose the recruiter is automatically populated from the job position. And then I can add the appreciation uh, for this particular job application. And then from which medium uh, did that particular applicant reach at our firm and then from which source. And then the applied job and the expected salary that we got from other job applications. Those expected salary and proposed salary can be added here. And the application summary also can be created here. And also if we need to schedule some, if we need to schedule some meetings for that particular job application, those meetings can be assigned from here. The meetings or interviews that for that particular job applications can be created from here. And then here we can see some stages. For example, in each and every firm, for each job applications, there is an interview, uh, there is an uh, return test interview like procedure or whatever is the procedure, these procedures can be recorded as each stages and each stages can be created at here. And once the employees pass the initial qualification, we can drag the record to other, other, other stage. And once the employees application is uh, passed all of the stages, uh, from here we can directly make him as employee. So from here I can click create employee and then I can save the red code. Then I get back to the employees module. Here on the employee I can see the new employee RAM is created at here as like HR training. Uh, then under the application here we can see one more menu that is for all applications. Here we can view the all applications that are created for each job position and this is a particular list view. Here we can view the applicant's name, applied job and, and the stage and then the uh, who is the recruiter under those tags. Also we can view it in the Kanban and then a pivot and then a graphical view. Then we can move to the next menu. The next menu is reporting and here we can get the recruitment analysis. And which helps for the HR managers or the company recruiters which, get, which helps to get a analysis reports of the recruitment that done on our firm. And which also available in the graphical view is also available in the bar chart, line chart and also in the pie chart. 
and if we need to uh, add some more measures such as uh, using the delay to close and the expected salary probability count everything can be got using these measures and then let's move to the pivot view and here it is its pivot view on the pivot view we can get the recruitment analysis based on each month for the each applications uh, on the each uh, applicant name etc and also can be download this reporting analysis as in a xls format and then let's move to the next uh, menu in the recruitment module that is con that is configuration and configuration which is available only for the re restricting users that is for the hr managers and they have the access to configure the different stages because the each firm for each application it have different different stages so those stages can be created at here and if we need to uh, follow it in kanban we can follow it as then moving to the next one that is tag here we can create the tags and these tags can be used while we are creating a job application and then next is degrees that means on uh, a job applications we we saw a field for uh, degree where we can choose a degree of the applicant and uh, those applicants degrees can be created from here and then the job position and this is directly on the configuration we can see another one more menu for creating job position here we can view its job positions department and the current number of employees and the expected new employees and the total forecasted employees for example let's go through this consultant job position and it is under the department of professional services current number of employees is 5 and the expected new employees is 1 and so the total forecasted employees is 6 so likewise we can get a stat we can like this we can get a detailed view of each job position from here and also a kanban view and then the next is about the refuse reason for example the some more applications is refused by the uh, refusal uh, by the recruiter on a particular stage on that case we can uh, need to add some refuse reasons and those reasons can be added at here and the particular email template uh, that uh, get back to the applicant is need to be configured from here then the sources of applicants the sources of each applicants like linkedin indeed everything can be created here then the departments and then the, who is the, from here we can create the departments and then the manager and the particular number of employees and then their parent department and then moving to the last one that is activity types that uh, for each uh, recruitment process uh, they follow different different activity types like either one is use google meets and other one zoom meet someone uh, has a face to face interview and those activity types can be created from here and uh, they can also attach under the applicants form that's all about the functionality of OpenHRMS recruitment module and which helps you get a dynamic recruiting software for a better dynamic processing order. Thank you for watching the video.